Morning, everybody. Um, hopefully you won't judge me too harshly. I literally just crawled out of bed. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, it's like almost noon. Um, I just didn't feel like getting out of bed today. Um, I woke up hours ago, but I wound up like, you know, staying in bed and snuggling with the kids and just kind of lying there and taking it easy. It's Sunday, I don't have a lot to do today. So I just kind of decided to start my, you know, self-care Sunday by laying in bed for a while longer. So I'm actually getting ready to start doing my morning routine. So I thought I would bring you guys along as kind of a cool little vlog about what exactly I do throughout the day on like my self-care Saturdays or Sundays. You know, sometimes a face mask isn't enough. Sometimes there's a lot more that you need to be doing for yourself to really make sure that you're taken care of. So, please excuse, I don't know what the sound's gonna sound like in here, and please excuse my setup because I'm in my bathroom right now. Um, but, of course, I always start off the morning by brushing my teeth because morning breath is the most disgusting thing ever. It's gross. So, I use Sensodyne. I don't know if anybody cares, but I have really sensitive teeth. I actually can't drink anything that has like ice in it ever. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but it's been that way for quite, quite some time. Um, I just like even eating ice cream too fast or, you know, anything super duper cold, it really hurts my teeth. And so I use Sensodyne to kind of help mitigate some of that. And I don't know if your dentist have talked to you guys about this, but my dentist has always told me that you want to brush for like 10 seconds in each place. She said each tooth. I don't got that kind of time. So I usually do like 10 seconds on this side, 10 seconds in the front, 10 seconds on this side, and then I'll open it up and I'll do it 10 seconds for each part of the bottom and each part of the top. And one of the most important things ever, I didn't notice for a long time, but it really makes a difference if you brush your tongue too. Does anybody else know that? Like, is that something new to people or am I just kind of behind on the times? Oh, it's also really important to remember to brush the top of your teeth too. Sometimes it's easy to forget that when you're in a hurry. Now obviously I didn't do the full 10 seconds, but I didn't think you guys wanted to wait for like three minutes while I silently brushed my teeth. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and be good with that. I'll probably just brush them again today, like after lunch or something like that, to kind of make up for the lost time. And then my morning routine, I try not to do too, too much, um, just because I know it's going to be on my face for the rest of the day. So I actually don't wash my face. Um, and the reason for that is because I keep my house very cold at night when I'm sleeping. So I generally, generally don't sweat a lot when I'm sleeping. But beyond that, like all the stuff that I put on my face last night was supposed to be super beneficial for my face, try to help it, you know, clear up and, you know, not age as quickly, things like that. So I don't want to take all of that off first thing in the morning. What I do do though, because you're gonna be around like dirt or whatever else all throughout the day, is I will tone my face. And that kind of lets my pores close up so that stuff, gunk isn't getting into them essentially. And uh, I actually got this tip from uh, someone who had a lot of acne problems, which prior to going to the dermatologist and kind of getting the stuff that you'll see in my routine, um, I had a lot of issues with acne, like really bad acne. In fact, you can still see a lot of the scarring. Um, it's funny because the camera picks up the scarring. A lot of these aren't fresh, like these are just scars that you're seeing here. But the camera really seems to pick them up. But that's what I'm talking about. Like this area in particular was horrible. It was constantly broken out. Um, I actually have a before picture that I'll show you guys at some point 
um, kind of when I feel like I've had when I have an actual after picture but um, so that's one thing I will do before I do that though I really like to use a lip scrub the one I'm using right now is just the um, elf lip scrub it's their sugar lip scrub and I just kind of apply it like I would lipstick and because it's got like I don't even know if you can see this or not Oh, beauty guru here but it's got like super super huge like sugar granules in it and so as you drag it across your lips it's just exfoliating all that crap away oops excuse my language uh, and getting rid of all the dead skin and all the stuff that might be chilling out and hanging around there and you can feel the difference because when you first start it drags like really bad it wants to stop because it grabs onto that dead skin but then as you go along, you can tell it's not doing that anymore. It's much smoother. And then you know you sufficiently exfoliate your lips. Now the reason that I do it at this point in my routine, I hope you guys all forgive me for that wonderful talking there. But the reason that I do it at this point in my routine is because now I'm going to go in and tone. And when I tone, it makes sure that any of that sugar that might be around my lips, like on my skin, is going to get wiped away. So that's why I do it at that point in my routine. Now, as I was telling you, this trick is one that I learned from um, this beauty YouTuber that I watched um, that had really bad acne. In fact, she had to go through an Accutane treatment. But she said that this CeraVe um, micellar water is actually a fantastic toner because it's got a lot of stuff in it like salicylic acid and stuff like that. And I've noticed that it kind of makes me feel like I have cleaned my face, like washed my face without actually washing it and stripping it. It just kind of gives it that clean feeling and make sure that all my pores close up and that the day's grime isn't going to make their way into them. And so you can see that I just put it on a little, this is one of the um, Shiseido cotton uh, pads. I really like these because they don't have any texture to them so they're not going to be rough on the skin. They're super soft, and what I do is I just put a little bit of whatever the toner is, and then you can use one side for one side of your face, and then flip it over and use the other side for the other side of your face. And as you can see, I tuck it in around my middle finger, and the reason that I do that is it actually gives you less pressure on your face. So you're not pulling as much, you're not causing micro tears, you're not you know, causing skin irritation or anything like that if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin. So that's my first step of my skin routine. Now I actually tone a second time. I also do this with a cotton pad, but this time I use the Wonder Pour. Um, eventually I'm going to do a video of things that BTS made me purchase, and this is gonna be one of them. Because if you guys ever saw the picture of um, the BTS refrigerator and like the little bit of skincare that they had in there, this was one of the things that they had in there. And so I decided to track it down and try it out. And um, honestly, I love the way that it makes my skin feel. It just feels like very protected, very soft, very like my, my skin's balance has been restored in terms of like pH and stuff like that. And I've noticed that since I've been using it, the blackheads on my nose have gotten a lot better and a lot smaller. So I think I'm going to stick with it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove it from my routine once I'm out of this bottle just for a little while because I want to see if it's what's causing the difference or if it's something else in my routine. Because a lot of this stuff, I had to change up my routine when I started taking the medications that my doctor prescribed me. So I'm not really sure what part of it is you know actually these products and what part of it is potentially other products so the next thing that i use is the real ferment micro essence by uh, neogen um, this is available on soko glam i do get a lot of my korean products from soko glam just because it's way faster shipping than trying to get it from something in korea like wish trend um, i haven't really tried any of the stuff like i think it's like yes talk or things like that um, I did get some stuff from Etude House that did take a long time to get here. So that's one of the reasons why I use Soko Glam if I can find it on their site. So I use this stuff and I just pour a little bit of it in my hands. 
and then I rub them together and pat it on my face. I try not to rub much. I try to pat as much as possible because that really helps it to sink in and get into the skin. And the point of the micro essence is that it's supposed to get really deep. And fermented stuff is very good for helping you to aid your skin to age slower. So, um, like for example, um, I'm 34 international age. I think I would be a little bit older in Korean age, but I haven't really figured that all out. Sorry. Um, but obviously at this stage in my life, I am getting to the point where like it's really a concern whether or not I am looking my age. So I'm really big on things that have ferment. Um, I know that licorice and uh, mushroom also help with that. So I do have quite a bit of Korean, you know, beauty care products mixed with some American ones. Um, so I use a lot of that to help kind of keep my skin looking a little bit more youthful. Right now I've been using the um, Misha Super Aqua Ultra Waterfall Eye Cream. I love this stuff because <laughs> you guys will find out for me. I hate stuff that is in open containers where you have to stick your fingers in it or you have to stick a utensil in it or whatever. I hate stuff like that. So this has a little like pump guy where you just pump it out on your finger and there you go, you're done. You just put it on your eyes and you go. And I love that because there's no mess. There's no concern about, you know, bacteria. There's no concern about what's getting into your product while you're trying to put it on your face. I hate that type of thing. I'm totally weird about those kinds of germs. So what I do is I take a little bit on my ring finger and pat it in gently. And one of the things I learned a long time ago is that you always want to use your ring finger when going around your eye area because it's some of the most sensitive skin on your face and you want to be as gentle as possible. And especially with me who recently I've had a lot of puffiness and a lot of um, dark circles and stuff. I've always had dark circles, unfortunately. I've kind of learned to live with them and love them for who they are. <laughs> um, but lately I've had some puffiness and stuff because of allergies. And so if you go in too hard on your under eyes, you're gonna make that puffiness worse and you're gonna make the dark circles worse and it's just bad. So you use your ring finger because it has the least amount of strength out of any of the fingers on your hand and then you just pat, you don't rub because again, you can cause micro tears. So you just pat it all in and that'll do the trick. So next in my routine is my serums. And I actually use a concoction um, because I use more than one serum and it depends on day or night which ones I use. So during the day, um, I use right now the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid um, because I can get very, very dry skin. My skin can dry out very quickly and it's just not pretty. So I use that. I use the COSRX Snail Mucin because of all the scarring that I have. I'm using this um, actually based on the advice of Joan Day. Um, she said it really helped with her scarring, so I'm hoping that that will help me. And then um, the Centella Blemish Ampule, also by COSRX. Um, this was actually recommended by... I want to say it was Ian, the Korean beauty guru, um, Ivan, that's it, Ivan. Um, and he said that this really helped with his acne and stuff. So I use this um, mostly when I'm having a breakout, but I don't know if you can see right here. I'm kind of having a couple of things pop up. So I'm going to use that today as well just to kind of keep that stuff under control so that it doesn't get any worse. So I take a pump of the... Centella, a pump of the hyaluronic acid, and then two pumps of the snail mucin. And let me tell you guys, this is not going to be pretty, so I apologize ahead of time because if you've ever used snail mucin, you know this stuff is so slimy looking. And when you put it on, like you can see the consistency. It's kind of actually gross, but 
it makes my skin feel really amazingly soft and it feels like it's really hydrating my skin and just kind of making everything soften up so that hopefully that scarring will go away. One of the other things I do is I always take it down my neck and onto my chest as well because those are also very sensitive skin areas on your body. And I always drag it up. And that may be a silly superstitious thing to do, but I was told a long time ago that your skin remembers the way in which it's tugged and that if you pull up instead of pull down that you're less likely to develop saggy skin and that your skin will stay plump and youthful. So I figure it can be, you know, some old wives tale, but it can't hurt, right? So I do that as part of my routine as well. And then the next one is actually one of the prescriptions that my dermatologist gave me. I have, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera at all, but I have these little bumps underneath my eyes, really bad, like you can see them very well here. And I have them up on my forehead too. And as you can see, there's no like black heads or white heads to them. They're just kind of like this bumpiness that I can't seem to get rid of. So my doctor thought that it might have been some sort of bacterial or fungal thing. So she prescribed me one Extin, which is an antibacterial topical cream. And so I use a pump of this, just like a pea sized amount on my skin during the day only, because at night I actually use a retinol that she prescribed me, which is supposed to help kind of pull all that stuff out of my skin and help my skin rejuvenate and help with the scarring and all that kind of stuff. So I do put this on my neck because as you can see, I do get some blemishes on my neck and stuff. So I take it on my neck and again, I take it up my face, making sure that I really get it into the areas where there are heavy problems. And then one of the things that I actually didn't know because my doctor didn't tell me, um, but you're supposed to do is wash your hands after using the one extent. And I think that has to do with the fact that it shouldn't be like getting in around your eye area or in any way wind up, you know, ingested. So if you're not washing your hands after using it, you can wind up, you know, accidentally ingesting it or getting it in your eyes when you go to rub your eyes or whatever. So one of the things that I do, I have like, I don't know if you can see this, but I have very like aged hands because I did not use a lot of product when I lived in California for 33 years. And as you can tell, I am very fair skinned. So because of that, I actually have a lot of skin destruction that occurred because I wasn't taking care of myself. If you can see my shoulders, those are all sunspots for me not wearing enough sunscreen and getting sunburned and all that fun stuff. So I have a lot to make up for. So one of the things I don't do is I don't use standard soaps for my hands. I actually use Cetaphil for my hands. Um, it was one of the two that was recommended for my face washes. I actually use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for my face. I tried the Cetaphil and I didn't like it. It dried my face out a lot. Like I could felt really, really stripped afterwards. And I'm not going to lie to you, the CeraVe does make me feel stripped after I use it, but the Cetaphil is like 10 times worse. So I have decided to stop using the Cetaphil on my face, but I started using it as a hand soap to see if it helped with my hands. And I can tell you that it actually does. It makes my hands feel much softer. It's starting to get rid of some of the like really bad deep lines and things like that. So I'm going to continue using that as a hand soap instead of, you know, the standard hand soap that people will use. Now, the next step in my routine is actually a newer product. I haven't been trying it for very long, but the Clinique brand has this new uh, Clinique ID thing and the blue tube is actually for um, texture, face texture. So I'm trying it out to see if it will help me get rid of those bumps. 
Um, I have tried some moisturizers from, sorry, I just totally dropped the cap on the floor. Um, I have tried some moisturizers from Korean brands, but one of the big issues is that a lot of them are fragrance. And I get that it's totally like a, I don't want to say cultural thing necessarily, but they like a lot of those very floral fragrances and things like that in their products. The problem is, is my skin is incredibly sensitive to fragrance. So I tried out the um, waterfall set or waterfall set and I could not use it. It made me break out so, so bad. So if you guys know a very gentle moisturizer from Korean brands, I would be more than interested in finding out what it is because ultimately I just truly and honestly need something that will keep me hydrated, will help with the texture. And I know that um, Koreans have a tendency to be very acne prone as well. Um, I don't have as much of like the swollen puffy face issues as they do um, unless you know my allergies are acting up but I find that a lot of their stuff actually works really well for me that's why you'll find so much Korean um, branded stuff like Korean brand stuff in my skincare routines um, this is actually one of the things that I use at night this is also on Soko Glam this is the tea tree cleansing water I also have the Neogen um, Centella pads that I use a lot for like a gentle exfoliating. And then I have for my kind of more crazy exfoliation, the Moira. I, I don't know if that's how you say it because it is a Korean brand, but um, their uh, lemon, fizzy lemon peeling gel. This stuff is amazing for getting like your skin cleared and just bringing all that dead skin and getting it off. I also have the Ace Well um, Licorice Balancing Cleansing Toner and their Cleansing Mist or their um, Balancing Mist. So I have a lot of different Korean skincare products and the next one that I actually have is this stuff. And let me tell you what you guys, <laughs> I cannot use mineral sunscreens they make me break out so horrifically it's not even funny I think it's actually because I have an allergy to something that is used commonly in them um, but the um, chemical sunscreens a lot of times they're very harsh on the skin and because I have sensitive skin I kind of feel like I'm stuck in this middle place where I can't use either of them however I found this Tony Moly um, it is the BC the BC Dacian multi-use sun oil and it's SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 and basically you guys it's a it's an oil that acts as a sunscreen so if you can see that there it's just an oil that and I'll show you guys how I use it because this is my next step it just comes out it's so watery like there's no stickiness to it or anything and it's just like a facial oil and I just put it on my skin and it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it I'm not gonna fib to you but it's nothing heavy it doesn't make me feel like I'm you know gonna break out and I haven't I used I'll show you in a second like almost all of this bottle um, you can see that there's just like barely a little bit left in this bottle and this is also available on Soko Glam um, but it is it has saved my life if it wasn't for this thing I don't know how I would get sunscreen on in the day other than having to put makeup on every day and you'll see why in my next video because obviously I can't do <laughs> um, you know a vlog with this morning care routine in it and everything else in it or you guys would be sitting here watching me for an hour but um, the one of the next things that I'm gonna do while I let all this skincare sit and sink in is I'm gonna go just sit and relax and watch maybe catch up on my run BTS or um, you know watch some YouTube videos from other creators that I love to to watch um, I might even play some superstar BTS I don't know but I'm gonna go do something relaxing something that is not gonna you know do anything other than allow me to just enjoy my Sunday and 
you know, kind of kick it and I'll have my morning shake, um, which again, you'll see in the next video. But after I hang out and let this have time to sink in, I'll be going and doing my workout. So obviously I don't want to put makeup on and then go do a workout because that's going to be horrible for my skin. So the last thing I'm going to put on before I head out of here and let you go until my next video is I use a lip oil. This one was actually one I just got in a random box. It's called Tour and it's a sweet orange and ylang ylang um, natural lip oil. And so I just get that all over my newly exfoliated lips. And that makes sure that they're staying really, really well taken care of just like the rest of my skin. Now, if I'm having a bad cuticle day, I do have some cuticle oil that I will sometimes put on. Um, this one is just a blossom uh, cuticle oil. It smells like roses. Um, I found this on Amazon, but I'm sure you can get it anywhere. I actually started noticing it at my nail salon, and that's why I got it. But um, today I'm actually doing fairly well, so I think I'm going to pass on it because I'm going to shower in a little bit, and I might do it after that. So that is my morning routine. Um, I'm going to go make my shake. I'll take you guys out to, um, you know, kind of walk you through the rest of my day, but uh, that will be in my next video because this one is definitely long enough. So thank you guys for joining for me for my morning routine. Look forward to the rest of my self-care Sunday, and I love you so much. Boraje, I purple you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thumb and bio, guys.